You know, the, the fundamental of the idea that the adult brain is set in stone is, you know, the common saying that you can't teach an old dog new tricks, but in fact you can. The adult brain, again, you know, the ripe old age in their 40s, 50s, 60s, even beyond, can change its structure and function in a significant way. Everyone I know uh, who gets, who's getting older, uh, forgets things, makes jokes about having senior moments, but I think deep down inside, everyone is kind of concerned that they're headed down this path of, of, uh, of, of losing their cognitive abilities. Um, I think it's very clear that everyone doesn't lose their cognitive ability. There's two factors that contribute here. One is genetics. Our family history is an important component. And the other is our environment. And those relationships between genes and environment dictate the degree of gray matter loss. And so you can influence one and not the other. You can influence your environment. You can stay active. You can exercise your brain just as you can exercise your body. These are enormously helpful in slowing down that degenerative loss that's part of normal aging. I think what we're doing now seems sophisticated, but in fact it's relatively primitive. And it's primitive because we haven't had a deep enough understanding of the processes of the brain and how it controls behavior until this era to really understand how we can use it to drive correction. So in that sense, this is revolutionary. With recent advances in technology and research, several key things that we thought were absolutely true about the brain are being challenged and proven wrong. For many years, conventional wisdom in the neurosciences has been that the brain is fixed in its physical and anatomical organization after an early stage of development that ends in childhood. But a growing crescendo of scientific studies now shows that the brain is not hardwired in childhood and we are not doomed by our DNA. On the contrary, our brain is pliable, plastic, and changeable throughout our lifespan, regardless of our age or genetics. Can we train the brain in ways that correct or compensate for injuries or impairments? Can we change our brain in ways that contribute to its rejuvenation as we grow older? To what extent can the brain heal itself with our guidance? Join us on a journey across the frontiers of neuroscience, psychology, and neurology as we explore the immense power of the Brain Fitness Program.